Today I'm going to share with you three scripts that will add new functions to your scenarios. This is a little mission that I built to practice flying and I'm going to use it to demonstrate these three scripts. The first script I'm going to demonstrate is an earplug script. Let's get into the truck here. And let's get onto the road. Alright, if you take a look at my action menu at the bottom left here, you'll see two words that say insert earplugs and then settings. If you insert the earplugs, it will lower the sound and then you get a hint at the top right that says you have insert the earplugs. This is useful if you're playing co-op and you're either driving or flying or whatever you're doing and uh, you need to hear your friends call out targets or what have you. So it's, it's useful for stuff like that, especially driving loud vehicles, depends. And if you scroll your action menu and you wanted to remove the earplugs, you just click on remove and the sound returns back to normal. Now the next script is settings. This is a view distance script. So when you choose settings, you'll get this GUI that comes up. If you hover your mouse cursor over infantry or any of these, you'll get a tooltip that says view distance for while on foot. So you can set this to whatever you want. Right now we're on foot, so you can kind of see the view distance. And if you're ground, if you're in a vehicle, then you could set the view distance for that. When you're in the air for aircraft, you could set the view distance for that. And of course, there's drones too. This also has a grass setting, so you could set it to none, which removes all the grass. Set it to low, normal, or high. Let's keep it at normal. And then you could sync uh, objects rendering with the view rendering, or you can unsync it and adjust the view distance to whatever you want. There's also save, so if whatever adjustments that you make, you just click on save, choose a slot, name it, click on save, then close, you can hide that, and then once you're all set, close, your settings are set, and you're off. What's up Charles? So what we're going to do is we're going to go inside the hangar here, and we're going to get to the Cessna, and there is a third script. This third script is a fuel consumption script. Let's get to the plane here. Let me put my earplugs on so you can hear me. So, in this fuel consumption script, you could set the ratio of consumption to be high or to low or wherever you want. I'll show you that uh, towards the end of the video. So we're going to set our view uh, settings here uh, soon and uh, I'm going to show you how this fuel consumption script works once we get out of the hangar here. Wait for the doors to open up. Okay. Yep, and they also close too. Pretty cool. All right, we're gonna go up to the uh, fuel truck up here and fuel this plane up, and then I could better show you the uh, fuel consumption script and how it works. Right now, I have the ratio for the script at three, which is not a lot, but it it's you'll see your fuel go down. All right, so we got fuel. Let's uh, get up into the air. So right now, the settings for the view distance is at default, which is like 2,000 meters, so you're not going to see really far. So we'll get up into the air and then we could kind of get a better idea of, of it. So the fuel should be being used. It's going to be more used 
once you're you know driving around using full full speed in your vehicle or plane all right let's take off yep so you could look at the fuel gauge there in the bar and that the gauge is already going down just a little bit Alright, so we're going to get some height and then I'm going to set the view distance. Yeah, you can see that, that little cloud there. So we're going to go to the view distance. And I'm going to set my save. And increase the... Now this really doesn't affect the FPS and you could see how far I have the view distance set at 10,000 meters so we're gonna close this and take a gander and you can kinda see let's get up a little higher here and you can kinda see the view distance already how it changes everything. And this is just for flying too. Get rid of your plugs. plugs. Now let's fly back to the uh, airfield. So there's a lot to see. I mean you have, I have all the object settings I have the object settings at 10,000, so if I sync the view here, I mean, you could see a lot. Alright, let's land this guy. And you can kind of see the fuel bar already is gone down just a little bit. folder of the mission that we were just in. I'm going to show you the three scripts and what's required to run them. So here is the TAW view distance script. This is for the view distance and if you open it up and go to open menu you'll see that Brian Tonic Boardwine uh, created the script uh, TAW view distance. Now let's go into the scripts folder where the other two are. Now here are the two scripts that I showed in the video, the fuel script and the earplug script. This is just part of the mission, so don't worry about that. So here the fuel script, if we open it up and we scroll down, anything that you're going to adjust is going to be right here. So the rate right here is set at two. If you increase it to like three or more, the rate of consumption is 
more, which means more fuel will be used. You could set a multiplier. So right here is a multiplier. If you set that to two, the consumption will probably be even more or even faster. So you have a stop rate, slow rate, fast rate, and that. The next script is the earplug script. With this script, Nemesis RE created the script. If you scroll down, you go to the manual, and with this script, you have to call it from an init.sqf or a init server.sqf if you're going to put it on a server. So if you scroll down, you'll see that there is a hint here. These are different languages. So you have the original, which is in English, and then you have English, Russian, German, Spanish. So what you could do if you don't want the words that for the hint that pops up when you activate the earplugs, this is what it says, you have insert the earplugs. So you can change this to wherever you want because it's a hint. And if you scroll down, this is the hint when you remove your earplugs. So if you want to change what that says, you could do that. If you scroll down, this is in the action menu. So this is what it says in the action menu, insert earplugs. So if you wanted to change what that says, you could do that. I would suggest keeping it small though. So this is when you use the earplugs. This is when you remove the earplugs. Next, we're going to go into the requirements. So if you go into the description.ext, the only thing that requires the description.ext is the TAW view distance script. So all you need from for that script to work is this code right here. Everything else was just part of my mission, so you can ignore all that. This is all you need is this code, so add it to an existing description.ext or create a new description.ext and put this code in there. Next is an init.sqf. In it, all you need is these two codes and this top line here calls the earplugs the second one calls the fuel script all the rest of it you don't need that's just for my mission this you could leave because that just checks to see if the player is on a server or not so one more thing is this this line here says scripts that is basically a folder. That's this right here is scripts. Now, if you don't want to use a scripts folder in your mission and you just want to have the scripts inside your mission folder, then basically just remove this line like that and then you'll just have the scripts in there. And that's all you need to do. I hope you enjoy that. I hope you find these scripts useful. What I'm going to do is zip this mission up into a zip file and link it in the description of the video so you can download it. If all you want is the scripts, then just grab these three folders, the description.ext and the init, and just apply the codes and the scripts accordingly. I want to thank you guys for watching, and uh, for more codes and scripts, take a look at this playlist.